Oh, I won once with this deck? Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Papa Boris playing some more Hearthstone Arena. I think I severely misdrafted this Warlock deck. Tried to go aggro, not sure if I did it wrong. Chose the wrong time to do it. Or if Warlock aggro just doesn't actually work anymore. Made some very questionable choices. I took a Pit Lord. I took uh, a Big Game Hunter over a Sea Giant, which was pretty bad one time. But we'll see how it goes. Maybe I can get a couple more wins and call it a day. Evadj, oh, that's a dirty name. Vag. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're done with this hand. Oh, this hand. Wow, this is a hand. Uh, I guess I'll keep a Death Lord. Because it's a three drop. And, okay, we got a two drop. Oh, power over. You know what? Even if you're going for aggro, this card is just so bad. I, Without synergy, that is. I have the Implosion and the Imp Gang boss, but besides that, it's pretty weak. Yeah, okay, well, this guy, it's probably just worse than a Shilling Yeti. Oh, shoot. Oh, a 2-3 is just the worst thing, because my Micro Machine will just die to it. Demon Fire doesn't kill it, and the Death Lord doesn't kill it either. Is there really any point in coining into a Death Lord right now? I hate this, but I think this is the best thing I've got. I throw this down, he kills it. Drops to one health, and then I coin into Ascension. And hope I top deck Mortal Coil in the meantime. It's not my favorite thing in the world to have to do this, but I just didn't see any other options. Okay. Gotta do the Pit Lord here. Although, if I thought about the fact that this thing is getting buffed, I probably wouldn't have done that. I forgot about the coin buffing this. Ah, I should have just played this engine. Because this engine takes out both of these. And this extra 6 health and 5 power are both wasted. I wonder. Especially if he has a Rock Biter or a Lightning Bolt, then he 2 for 1's against it. And then I just wasted the bigger body for, no for nothing. Flame Tongue. Well, that makes me glad I played not Ascension, because at least this way can take out both of them still, unless, of course, he has an extra damage, which I figure he must, or else he wouldn't have done this. Oh, my God. I lose to just the opponent playing a 2-3. That's pretty much all that that was. So, Demon Fire kills none of these things. Cult Master is worse than useless. Gotta play Ascension. It still trades with his bear. I mean, I could come back and win this, but it's looking mighty grim. Grimmer than the brothers, that's for sure. Shoot, this game just he got off to such a horrible start. All he did was play a 2-3 and it caused me to lose. Micro Machine, if only it had been just a regular old 3-2. Oh god, how different it would have been. That thing would have been dead. Yeah, I, I just needed a 3-2 there. Micro Machine, I don't think I've ever failed so hard with Micro Machine before. That was terrible. So now he's got these Flame Tongues I can't actually kill. Got a Healing Totem, which could be irritating. I'm getting lower on health, so I can't life tap anymore. Oh, my lord. I got this junkie card. And... Okay, he's got a 6-3, which is going to wreck my 2-8. Lord on a fucking cracker. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. It seemed pointless to play this. It was just going to die to the totem plus this, and you get another minion. And this thing would still live to tell the tale. Wow. So this Death Lord and the Power Overwhelming and the Pit Lord and Demon Fire all showing up in a fragile situation caused me to lose. Because I needed real cards, not these sort of wacky stuff things with drawbacks that only work if you're winning. Christ. That was a beatdown. Got killed by the Vag. I just like to think this name is just missing a T and H at the beginning of it. Clearly, that's the only thing that makes any sense. I've never been beaten down by two flame tongues this badly. Usually, two flame tongues is a bad thing, but here, I'm just in such shitty shape, it doesn't even matter. He still has all of his mana for the turn, ahead on the board, on life, on everything. Wow, what a depressing, depressing start to the video. Okay, so he's gonna play that. Uh, I'm just gonna draw a card and concede, I think. We're still three turns away from Twisting Nether. Uh, okay, that's great. Just great. 
I can kill this. I wonder. Oh, fuck it. Fine. Let's just kill that. Let's see what happens. Twisting nether. It's just, um... It's just a little bit too far away. I, I needed it to turn sooner. I mean, I guess if the Silverhand Knight ran in and the Squire ran in and he killed it that way, and he got a creature and I could play Twisting Nether, I'd still be at 10 health. Maybe I could catch up and win. But being one turn off on playing Twisting Nether makes all the difference. Hmm. What to do? I've got a huge all right, so he's going to shoot it down. Let's him attack with the Squire. Get some micro. Oh, that's just the ultimate offense. He gets a micro machine and it's totally fine. I had a micro machine, made me lose the game. Because either a 2 3 or a 3 2 would have been fine. The micro machine is one of the few 2 drops that like just did not hold up at all against the 2 3. Balls. Wow. Just shudder to think how good it would be if I could play Twisting Nether right now. I'd actually maybe win the game. Sure, at 8 health I could get burned out, but it would kill everything. He'd have 4 cards to 4. Instead, we can see. So even playing things I had that were on curve, I could not like survive long enough to get out of Twisting Nether on turn 8. That was embarrassing. <sighs> I think this is going to be my first genuinely shitty run of the arena. Interestingly, curve wasn't a problem there. It's not the fact that I didn't have enough endgame that caused me to lose. Endgame wouldn't have helped me because the early game crushed me so bad. It's just card quality. I just have a bad deck with bad cards. I think Pit Lord is actually just trash. I should have realized that a little bit sooner. It used to be kind of cool if you're going for like a kooky super aggro deck, but like nowadays there's the, the overall card quality has increased to the point where it's just a trash card. It's just better to have a Yeti because then you don't have the gigantic drawback. And nowadays, there's just enough good stuff to kill out a uh, 5 6 that drops for 4 mana. Okay, so we're going up against Meow Master, the feline fan. The hope is that she coins into a 3 2, which I could then kill with Demon Fire and hit her for 3 and be off to a great start. If she kills this or plays a 2 3, things get a little bit messier. I mean, if she passes the turn, that's fine, too. I don't mind life tapping on turn two, though it's not the greatest thing ever. All right, she's taking her 50-50 shot. And she fails it. Is she going to do another arcane missile? She spent the coin and did nothing. Interesting. Well, here I think it makes sense to put the demon fire on here, because she's going to... She was going to ping it to death anyway. So I might as well, like, I'm, I was going to go down a card regardless. So if she Frostbolts or Flamethrowers this, that's fine, because I was going to go down a card regardless. This way, at least I got to trade a Demon Fire for a Frostbolt, and since Frostbolt is the vastly superior card, I'm happy with that trade. There was a case to be made for playing the Crusader, because the Crusader could run into something, deal 3 damage, and Mortal Coil would deal the 4th, but if she doesn't play something with 4 health, it's sort of irrelevant. And this Divine Shield can be pinged off. Versus Majors, the Crusader's not as good. Oh, wow. Another Arcane Missile. Am I going to get lucky again? Again, I get lucky. So that's twice that I've been lucky. I have to admit, that's that's just really lucky that twice in a row I uh, didn't set to suffer for it. Life Tap and Raptor? Or just play this Crusader? I'm going to play the Crusader. Do I reveal the Panther? It deals 4 damage. But on the other hand, it opens it up to being pinged. I'm going to do the 4 damage. 4 damage is a lot of damage, and I'm okay with her spending half her mana pinging this to death. Keeps the Divine Shield on this. And then it keeps her from playing bigger creatures, so I actually kind of want her to do that. She had a slow start, so what if she's holding a Yeti? You know, she would have liked me to keep that stealth, and she would have had no choice. Now she has to choose between the Yeti or the pink. Of course, she might not have the Yeti, but you know what I'm saying. She had nothing. Alright, great. Do I play Life Tap and both of these things? I think so. This is an aggro deck after all. So let's get as much pressure as I can. I could have played the anti killbot, of course, but that would have put less pressure on the board. Only three power versus six. And I got the life tap for an extra card. So this is nine damage I've actually got here, which is a lot. She needs like a cone of cold maybe to freeze the team. She wasted her coin on turn one. So no blizzard. 
It's unfortunate. If she'd gotten better luck on those coin flips, she might have actually still won despite playing terribly and throwing away a coin. But because she lost both of the arcane missile flips, she's in rough shape. Should I just kill her or attack her for nine? Then I have another three plus four is seven. She's almost dead. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to ignore that thing. But just in case she has something wacky, we'll play the heal bot, take the health. And then pass the turn. So, still a turn away from Flame Strike. She could Blizzard to freeze the team. I've got her down to two with Nightblade and Soulfire. She can't stop either of those things except with Counter Spell or Ice Block. And then she's at two health, so she has to clear my board. And then I need to find two more damage and win. If she does Blizzard here, yeah, I could maybe lose the game. It's possible. Blizzard followed up by like a pair of antique heal bots could actually cost me the game. I could have played Nightblade the previous turn, but I figured it was better to hold on to the surprise. A 4-4 four, four versus a 3-3 three, three makes no difference when the opponent has a piloted Shredder. Alright, she doesn't have anything. Well played. So that's that. Is she really going to target a 3-2? Oh, she finds that I have a 3-3. Three, three. Good for her. You know, that was a premature well played, because if she'd gotten a taunt off of that, then she actually would have survived. Ploink! Meow Master gives me a free win, which I'm totally fine with. Oh, we are getting some experiments. Ooh, Golden Boulder Fist Ogre! I like that. Got the 100 gold quest, which is very nice. Dad will be finishing it in this run, or this video at least. Still, though, we got totally crushed and then totally crushed someone, so all is well and balanced in the world. Let's see who's up next. Oh my gosh, I'm sleepy. Got up early this morning, like a working adult or something. I haven't taken a nap all day. Look, at 6.24 p.m., got up at 8, didn't nap once. Such a proud freaking adult today. Crepusculo, that's a cool name. It's like medical and fantasy-ish at the same time. Okay, well, Demon Fire can go suck on a dong. We'll keep Micro Machine grudgingly. See if I get another two drop to coin things out. Nope, not a chippity choppity chance, but I do have a lot of ones and twos in this deck, so I think there's a decent chance of having a turn one play. Come on, deck, don't let me down. Don't let me down. Ah, oh, he mulliganed only one card, so he must like his other two. That doesn't mean he's got a turn one play. He might have just kept a two and a three or something, but you never know. Pop, 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 Ah, uh, he does have a turn one play. Young Priestess. Well, that certainly makes my life easy. Because I do have the Mortal Coil. I don't think it's a mistake to play Young Priestess on turn one. I think it's a totally reasonable decision. It's just unfortunate for him that I do have the Coil. Now, the good news for him is that because I just killed his creature and went up a card, now he can play a creature and he's kind of, you know, got a little bit of an edge keeping keeping stuff on the board, which is so important for Paladins. Knife Juggler. Okay, so there's a couple options we could take here. A couple different things we could do. Co coin into a Scarlet Crusader. Of course, the problem is if he plays a creature, the Divine Shield can get popped off. I could try to trade the Knife Juggler in for a Micro Machine, or I could play the Imp King boss. That actually is interesting, because if the Knife Juggler hits it, the Knife Juggler then can trade into it, but I get two Imps for my trouble. I think that's the move. So this is a decent counter to Knife Juggler, because now he doesn't actually want to get tons of Knifelings. It could be bad for him. On the other hand, if you play a creature that deals mm. damage to this, I believe the battle cry happens first. Yeah, it's after you summon a minion. So if he plays Alvin Archer and shoots this, then the knife juggler can hit the imp. Okay, he gets lucky and does not get a, give me an imp. But he does give me a way to get an imp for free. So that's cool, I guess. 
Sweet. And I actually got an implosion. All right, well, let's just do the obvious. We'll kill this, and I will play the Scarlet Crusader just because it's all of my mana. Demon Fire would have not been bad to kill the Knife Juggler there. Now I have two pretty vulnerable targets. This dies, and, well, it's no nothing ventured, nothing gained. I mean, I got it for free, so it dies, whatever. It's better ha having it get hit than the Scarlet Crusader. Scarlet Crusader would be the worst thing to have get hit. This thing would be the best thing to have get hit, and my face would also be fine. So it's really 50-50. Either ranging from like very good to very bad. Very interesting here, the knife juggler versus the MKang boss. He is pretty down on cards if you're looking. Ooh, he only has a three drop on turn four. He gets the imp. Lucky him. But this is not a good setup. He needs a one drop here to get another knife fling. Right now, I can kill this, get an imp, and then kill that. And be totally fine. Now, there's one obvious problem here, which is that if I um, kill all this stuff, and then I play my two drops, everything dies to Consecration. Um, don't like it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is hedge my bets. I am going to play my crappier two drop. Starts with it. I guess right now it's better than the Raptor. It's the one that's better to play if the opponent's board is empty. He's got four cards to my butt ton. My health is all right. I got a. I got one of my few big cards coming up next. I got healing for more life taps. I'm actually in the driver's seat right now. He doesn't have the consecration. I do have seven damage to kill this if I want to. Do I want to play implosion? To... No, actually, I really don't. Nope. We'll just kill it. Because I really want to play the Spiteful Smith. That's a huge creature. It's 4-6. Uh, and the Micro Machine is going to pack a big punch here. Five damage is nothing to sneeze at. Big Game Hunter could be useful. This could be useful. He does have the Consecration, and he uses it just to get rid of the Micro Machine, so that's actually Desperation right there. That is definitely not how he wanted to spend his days. The Enrage ability obviously doesn't matter unless I ever played Blingtron, which is not going to happen. I didn't get Blingtron. Wasn't even offered a single Blingtron. What a cruel and unfair game. Okay, so what do we do? We Life Tap and Panther, probably? Hmm. Nah, let's play the Nightblade. This thing's a bit sturdier. I like that about it. I don't need more cards. I'm already doing very well on the card front. I want big bodies. What I'd love to see here is a War Golem. Then I kill it with Big Game Hunter and win the game. Oh, alas, if only. Mortal Coil wouldn't be the worst thing here. Let me finish off that Senjin. That would be really slick. Come on, Mortal Coil. Come on. No. Do I use the implosion here? Stops him from playing Senjin. But it gives me much of imps. And I like that. Really hate the fact that Consecration kills my entire board. But he's already played one, what are the odds he has another? If he does have another Consecration, I'm still fine. He's going to have three cards to my six. And I have an anti-kill bot, so I can get even more cards with Life Tap. Although, after a Consecration and a good four drop, I respond with just a Senge. I don't have anything big in my hand. I could actually be in a bit of trouble. Wow. Alright, so no Consecration. That is comical. Whenever you oh no, whenever you summon a mech, get a divine shield. Okay, so I was gonna say whenever I thought it was whenever you summon a minion, but no. So whenever you summon a mech, okay, that's a fair, it's a fair thing. Okay, we need to kill that. Let's uh, only six three. I can't buff it. Darn. All right, let's just pop the shield. Um, 
trade that in there. Trade these in there. Hit him for eight damage. Drop a tiger. Now that I know he doesn't have a consecration, we'll play the raptor. Threatening a lot of damage all of a sudden. This is 13, 16 damage. I don't have any more damage in my hand. But I have the heal bot for more cards. I'm a really big favorite on the board. Mind control attack, I guess, would be really good for him. Mind control attack plus defender of Argus would be pretty spectacular. Mm. Might even win him the game. <sighs> so many mind control attacks lately. Finally, someone plays a three drop that isn't mind control attack. That card is actually pretty irrelevant on this board. Is he going to give a taunt? No, he's going to just play a 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Well, that's all he's got. He's out of juice, and it's just not good enough. So we should win this pretty easily. Can I kill him? Uh, let me do a quick count. 9, 13, 16. Yes, this is enough. Twisting Nether, I hardly know her. Alright, so we can do this. Attack, 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 and attack. Well played. Ha! Huh. Alright, we got our three wins for respectability. And at this point, it's whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna bitch after losing, but right now I'm content that with this really weak deck, I actually got up to three wins. That's a good thing. Oh man. Oh, it's nap time over here in Boris land. Ah, oh, nap time is upon me. Man, l lately a few folks added me and have been spectating me a lot when I log on. I appreciate that, guys. It makes me feel like a real champion. Champion of the people. Champion of the order. I can just apologize that I'm playing with such a bad deck that I totally misdrafted. Warlocks are sort of the last thing I don't get in Hearthstone Arena. I mean, okay, not the last thing. There's a bunch of things. There's like five things people point out after every video. But... Uh, one of the main things I don't get. All right, we're up against a hunter, Psycho Master. That's great. I have a somewhat quickish start, although it does die to Explosive Trap. And eventually Multi-Shot. And any minions he would play himself. Warlock versus Hunter, very tough matchup. I'd be very thrilled to win this game, but I'm not uh, holding my breath. He's holding a card, so he's going to make a coin play, it looks like. Yep. Here it is. No, he plays Web Spinner. Interesting. Web Spinner does just die to this, so I wonder why he didn't coin out something to trade with this instead. Very interesting indeed. Well, we're going to kill the Web Spinner. I don't want to let him buff it and kill one of my creatures for fun and profit. He does still have the coin, although now there's a chance that I can actually have two creatures on the board when I play the Cult Master and get some imps. Scarlet Crusader, that is a problem. I cannot play Cult Master just yet. I need my... Oh, jeez, I need, I need Mortal Coil. Well, we're going to have to content ourselves with this and ignoring the Scarlet Crusader. So why did I ignore it? Well, if I threw into it, both my creatures die. If I leave it alone, there's a chance that she only kills one. He plays a stupid monkey, which actually is quite a strong card here. It prevents me from trading into that Scarlet Crusader. Balls. I could play Cult Master, throw the Flame Imp at this, and then get an Imp. But I only get one card doing that, and then the Crusader can kill the Cult Master. So I could go for an Imp Lotion onto this, which is guaranteed they'll let the Imp Gang boss kill that and the uh, Flame Imp to kill that, plus they get a whole bunch of Imps. So then he plays Unleash the Hounds, and that's bad. But, okay, so if I, if, if I do that, hang on, this thing will be at one health. <laughs> that's really bad. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If I'm going to throw the flame up at this and this at that, oh, this little thing, this thing will be at more than one health. Implosion the monkey, imp gang boss this, flame imp this, and then I have my at least three imps or up to five imps. I just gotta hope he doesn't have unleash the hounds. Okay, that's what I actually didn't think about. Now I don't actually get the extra imp from the boss, but that's fine. So we'll do this. Hit him in the face. Okay, I'm just hoping he doesn't have Unleash the Hounds. That's it. And Explosive Trap. Unleash the Hounds and Explosive Trap are both bad. If he actually plays a minion here... If he actually plays a minion, and I can play Cult Master, that's 
fan fiddly tastic. Okay, we're doing it. So cult master goes down. Let's kill this. Get a card. Kill this. Get a card. Do I want to get another card? Or just kill this and call it a day? Do I want another card? I think that would be a bit greedy. We'll do that. And then just fat face. And he clearly doesn't have Unleash the Hounds for you to play it last turn, so I'm going to go throw that Lepernome out. Again, if he doesn't have Unleash the Hounds, I could be okay. He didn't have Explosive Trap either, or he would have played that. For sure. Explosive Shot. Smart. I should have placed my creatures better. Oh, interesting. The Imp that spawns is the one that dies. Fascinating. Alright, so we'll hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Do I dare play the Pit Lord? Yes. Do I dare play Flame Imp after that? Down to 17 health? Eh, sure, why the hell not? We're at equal health. He's way behind on the board. I should be able to burn him out before he burns me out. Savannah High Main. Doesn't quite die to Big Game Hunter. Ugh, it's a bit scary. I don't want to let him hit me down to 11. Well, can I kill him? I can do 5, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. If I life tap down to 15, he hits me down to 9. What are the odds he could really kill me? Two kill commands? I guess would do it. But on the other hand, what did I count? 5, 10, 14. Just three more damage. like a soul fire and I win. I gotta try this. Power of Whelming. Well, that'll do it. Bonk. 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 And bonk. Alright, that might have been a little bit loose. But I think I made the right call. I, I, I was like, well, I'm going to be behind no matter how I play this. Let's just hope he doesn't have Unleash the Hounds. He didn't have Unleash the Hounds. Or Explosive Trap. I gotta keep remembering. And then I won. So, hooray. Cult Master finally earned her bacon there. And Imp Gang Boss was spectacular. I really like that card. Is that a rare? I think it's a rare. I like that card a lot. I think that really beefs up the Warlock significantly. I was a fan of it in all of its numerous respects. In that game, I should have separated the Imp Gang Boss from the Cult Master. Then he wouldn't have been able to kill both in one explosive shot. And then he would have been even more screwed. Well, Woody, he would have killed the Cult Master and a pair of imps, and I would have had the boss, which was a 2-1. Yeah, maybe he would have been just as screwed. I don't know that it made that much of a difference. A mage. E-Force. That's a tough matchup. You asked for it. Okay. I think we got to mulligan those and just hope for more 1-drops, or a 2-drop at the very least. Nope, and nope. Okay, still about the same hand quality as it was before, maybe a little bit better. Mortal Coil better than a Soul Fire to have early on. As the first player, I know I'm going to get to drop this Flame Imp unmolested. The question is, what will happen after that? Last time I played against a mage, she played Arcane Missile, and it whiffed. Then she played another Arcane Missile for my Panther, and that whiffed. And then she threw away her coin for no reason on turn one. I got the chronology wrong there, and then she lost. So I'd be pretty happy to have a game like that again, though it's less likely now that I'm at four and wins rather than one, which is where I played that other mage. Okay, this mage is actually away from the keyboard. She is distracted. Ah, she comes back. You see the cards flickering. Darn. Free win versus a mage would have been nice. She keeps these two cards, mulligans the other two. Oh, I got the actual dream here, but unfortunately I'm not the not the first player. Or not the second player, so I didn't get to coin those out. Okay. Is that thing gonna blow up? It is. That's cool. Infiltrator. Alright, well, I guess I'll play the Voidwalker for that. Seems like a reasonable play. If she attacks and pings, we trade cards, but she loses her second turn. I'm pretty okay with that. I'll probably play a Death Lord after that. Hmm. 
If she plays abusive sergeant, I'd be a little more annoyed. But the mortal coil would kill off the sergeant. Ah, she's gonna keep the infiltrator hidden. Oh, what? No. Um. Hmm. Why would you not just keep it hidden? That's weird. Okay. So I can either run in, pop the shield this way, run in a mortal coil, or I can run in and just kill it. I think that makes a lot more sense. And So she can ping the Flame Imp and be left with six cards versus my five. Then I play the Scarlet Crusader and hit for two. She chooses not to ping the Flame Imp. Oh, she's going to coin to ping the Flame Imp. I see, that makes sense. So I'm going to have to run into the Mech Warper and Mortal Coil it to death. Which is fine, because then I can still play Scarlet Crusader and I get my card back. It's all good. So, up a card we go. Berserker is not worth it right now. Let's just play the Crusader. She has five cards to my five cards. I do have a big drop coming, although it can be fireballed and polymorphed. If she has a fireball, she might actually use it here. Kill a creature, get a creature. Can I assume she doesn't have a fireball if that's not what happens? Probably not. I can reasonably see someone choosing not to use fireball that way. Okay, so she can ping off the Crusader now. I've really dealt almost no damage to her, which is bad because I have a bunch of junk that all dies to Flame Strike. I have no reason whatsoever to think she doesn't have Flame Strike, so I'm actually in just a bit of trouble. My aggro y sort of deck is is causing problems for me. If the, if any of these were like a big creature, I'd be in much better shape. Instead, she can just flame strike me into oblivion. <laughs> This is actually annoying because it forces me to kill it with the Spiteful Smith. And that means the Spiteful Smith dies to Flame Strike. So I need to try to find my big cards and I fail to. Well, she doesn't have Flame Strike next turn. She does have Blizzard, but gotta, I gotta go for it. So if she has Blizzard, I'm just screwed. But if she doesn't have Blizzard, I got one more turn to deal some significant damage. And then hope that I can hang on with life taps after she inevitably flame strikes me. No blizzard, no blizzard, no blizzard. It's not a blizzard. Yay! It's not a blizzard. Okay. So what do we do about this guy? Do I have power overwhelming? Just a two for straight up two for one? Let's see. Can I try to deal some damage? What is this? Three, five, nine. 11. So 15 damage. I mean, that's a lot of damage, but she's taken no damage. So, hang on a minute. I'm gonna life tap here. Always draw cards first. That's a very good card. So I will just do Power Overwhelming, which I admit is actually quite handy. Oh, hit. 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 And I'm gonna play Sengen, which survives the Flame Strike. In high style. Now, this thing's becoming kind of a threat. It's about to hit for five. She flame strikes, gets a creature. This goes down to one health. I have to hope she gets a bad creature out of this. Yep. Oh, no! The leftmost card was not flame strike. It was a spider tank. Goblin Blast Mage, who cares? That was very lucky that it didn't kill this and it didn't kill that. Okay, can I kill her? We got three, seven, twelve, fourteen. Oh, my God. We're actually going to win. That is silly but micro machine after losing me a game actually repays me by winning me a game that extra damage was pretty significant was it significant would a three two have dealt enough damage i think it would have well whatever the point is it was cool and i'm lucky the mage didn't have flame strike just like i'm lucky that the hunter didn't have unleash the hounds or explosive trap let's remember explosive trap as well wow didn't think i'd make it here with this deck after it went what one and two or something like that at the beginning we're Monday night, no reason to think that uh, it's easy players. Should be real players out here. I guess I just got a lucky streak. Sweet. I'll take my good luck. Another mage, a different one. Plague is. Plague is what? That's a sentence fragment. I disapprove. Okay. We have... Not the greatest opening hand of all time. Just a single two drop. Another two drop would let me coin. Nope. Nope. Oh, definitely nope. Ouch. 
So many ones and twos with three mulligans, got none of them. Ouch, that really hurts. Should I just coin this out in desperation? I'm gonna try it. This is terrible if it doesn't work. But I feel like if, if I'm up against a mage and I don't get something happening early on, I'm just screwed. So if she frost bolts this and I have to life tap, then so be it. But I, it's just a death sentence if I just passed on turn one. Fuck, she has to frost bolt. God damn. Well, you know what? Can't complain. Hunter didn't have hounds or trap. Mage didn't have flame strike. She had the cut. No, why didn't you come up a turn earlier? Oh my god. Well, that that's a game difference maker. This not being on the board makes all the difference in the world. All right, well, let's go ahead and drop the Imp Gang boss because that's pretty good against these spiders. I run in, get an Imp, she gets spiders. The Imps trade with the spiders. This can get more Imps by running into the spiders. Does she have Flamethrower? No, she has Water Elemental. Oh, Water Elemental. Freaking Water Elemental. Well, we have a decent response to Water Elemental. Blah. So a 5-6 holds up reasonably well against a 3-6. The damage is a bit severe, but I do have an antique heal bot in here that can heal me back up. She can kill this with uh, the elemental, of course. I'm behind, don't get me wrong. My cards are so bad here. I'm definitely behind. Oh, she just kills this thing, so her elemental's not dead. She's gonna trade the spiders for the imp, so she has a 3-4. Okie doke. Well, let's um play this guy. And I'm sure I'll play these guys, because why not? Card wise, I'm okay. She pings this. She has six cards to my six. Twisted Nether, I might actually get to use this game before I lose. Flame Strike wins are the game, guaranteed. It's it's bad. It's bad, but it's not hopeless. Just yet. It's just bad. She's taking no damage. Ouch, that sucks. Well, wow, there's the first damage. Another one, no! Oh, oh, the water elemental that broke the camel's back. Good lord, okay, so we do this. And uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna just play as if she doesn't have a flame strike, I guess. Crikey. She's not gonna overextend against Twisting Nether either. Leftmost card is not flame strike. Oh boy, Matt Scientist, huh? It's getting pretty ugly over here. We are going to go full on for the face. If she has Flame Strike, I lose. But if she doesn't have Flame Strike and she overextends, Twisting Nether is a worthless card. What am I talking about? I guess I could hit her in the face a bunch of times and play Twisting Nether. Hope I get, like, Soul Fire for the win or something. Alright, she got another Tiger out of that uh, Death Lord. Hope this isn't Ice Armor. That would actually be legitimately bad. She's cautiously killing everything. Oh, she's gonna replay that Elemental. Well played. Does she have enough damage to kill me? 5, 10, 16? She really does. Like, a single flame strike kills me. Or, uh, sorry, not a flame strike. A single frost bolt kills me. This actually kills me, too. If I play this, she has enough damage to kill me. 10, 16. Yeah. Is it worth it to life tap and search for something? What do I search for? Well, let's see what this is. Let's see if this is going to stop me. Oh, God. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, do we have to play Twisting Nether? I hardly know her. I think so. I'm still behind on cards. She's gonna have four cards to two with a... Yeah, the life advantage I have is insignificant. I lose. I can't life tap. I have junk. I've gotten rid of an element. Oh, oh my god, big game hunter. Oh my god, big game hunter could get me back in this game. Big game hunter, come on! Shit! Oh, fuck. oh man, oh man, that would have been something. That would have been like, oh, I'm so glad I took this over the sea giant. Okay, I still have two more chances to get a big game hunter and kill this. If I hit her for six, big game hunter this, hit her for eight with the dark iron dwarf. Come on, it needs to happen. All right, I'll see what portal she can play any minion in the game. 
Senjin is a problem. Although Dark Iron Dwarf lets me trade off and kill it. Alright, big game hunter. Here goes. Here goes. Here goes. Not the big game hunter. Which is why it's going to be all the more dramatic when Life Tap gives me a big game hunter. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Well, so we do this. We do this. We hit her in the face. She doesn't have removal for this little dude. She has to run into it with Force Tank Max, which gives me another chance to get Big Game Hunter. Flame Strike wins the game on the spot, though, because that kills everything away. And then the Force Tank Max gets to hit me. Does she have the Flame Strike? Nope, she's actually attacking into it. Big Game Hunter, ladies and gentlemen. Coming right up. That Big Game Hunter. He's a hunter of big game. He's got all the fame. Babes definitely don't think he's lame. He is uh, balls. Okay, I gotta think carefully here. I could just play this and this and call it a day. Um, we're gonna go for big game hunter. Come on. But they're fucking unbelievable. Ah, oh, balls. Okay, so we do this. We do this. Oh man, alive. Do I hit her in the face? What's this? Eleven. Not enough to kill me, theoretically. Soul fire. We gotta save the soul fire for the face. Okay. Um. Nope, that was wrong. I should have used it to kill something. Cause this thing is irrelevant. She's gonna kill both of them. She's gonna kill all of my minions here, for sure. So power overwhelming wouldn't actually let me kill her, and I don't have any other damage that can finish her off after the soul fire hits. Shoot. God, I can't believe I didn't get big game hunter. It was so just. Karmic, it had to happen. Now it's just that uh, I can just kill this normally. Oh man. Wow, she plays nothing. Interesting. Yay! I've got the beast in my side. Okay, she's gotta have removal because she's she spent eight mana doing nothing. Do I soul fire the face? Or do I soul fire this? And I'm definitely gonna life tap. Okay, well, here goes. I've got seven damage in the hand, unstoppable, except for counterspell or ice block. I need one more damage though, so one of my minions has to survive. Shoot, none of my minions are gonna survive. There's no way they're gonna survive. Oh, polymorph wild pyromancer combo. Let's her then ping this thing to death. Do I have any damage in the deck? I don't think I do. I don't think I have any damage. Shoot. She has enough damage to kill me, which means if I don't kill her, then I'm screwed. Demon Fire is definitely not going to do anything. All right. Got to play to your outs, got to play to your outs, got to play to your outs. What are my outs? Finding damage? I don't think I have any damage in here. I really don't actually think I have any damage. I have no Dark Bombs, no more Soul Fires, no Charge Creatures. Soul Fire just guarantees that I lose. So I have to play this this and now I have to think do I soul fire the face or do I soul fire a creature if I soul fire the creature how am I gonna kill her if I don't do anything she can get me down to one health but if she can't kill me what she's gonna do is run the pyromancer in and ping this hit me down to five I have to soul fire the creature much as this hurts and then I have to life tap Okay, well, if I can live long enough to play this, I might win. But the problem is, if, she, if any of these things are creatures, she just wins. She runs in, pings this. Oh, no! That's bad. I've already used mine. So this kills me in two turns, and now this tiger is no longer representing lethal damage. Ouch. Even if I got power overwhelming, it wouldn't be good enough. Well, that was a good fight. I just got big game hunter like a turn late. There's no way I can deal eight more damage. I just don't have it. I don't have any more healing. I lose. Sad as it is to say. I lose. Wow, that antique killbot saved her. Oh, man. She would have been at five health. I would have died to my tiger. Well, thanks for watching all that. 
we're up to exactly 45 minutes, actually. So that'll be it for this video. All in all, a good run, considering how bad it started out. Big Game Hunter let me down in a major way. And as a result, that'll do it. Please like and or subscribe, and I will see you again soon with some more Hearthstone. Take care, everyone. I've got a junk pack, of course. Being taunted by the card that killed me, the Force Tank Max. And that Pyromancer off of the Unstable Portal was rough. Granted, a big creature would have also finished me off, but... It sucks that she got the free kill for the sheep on the polymorph and got to ping off my big game hunter. That was that was a huge swing. Well, let's take a sneak peek at the next the next class I'm playing. Rogue, warrior, or mage. Any of those will do. Do need rogue or warrior, so that's probably what we'll do. Thanks again for watching everybody, and I'll see you again soon.